Hello my soccer universe, it's time for another collection video and yeah, the Paraguay South American shirt gives it away. Uh, I actually have been going through, you know, of course as a good collector I keep track of my collection. I have an entire file uh, where I keep uh, track of it when I roughly got stuff and you know, all kind of special uh, things. Also when I did a video with them. And I went through it and uh, not too long ago and I realized I barely have, sh I have not shown almost any of my Argentina jerseys, which is so ridiculous because I, I, I always say family national teams aside, my three favorite national teams are and in uh, probably no particular order, Italy, the Netherlands and Argentina. So there you go. I think I've shown it a 2008 one uh, already, which was my first one. And then... The next one that I got is, of course, this one from 2014 for the 2014 World Cup, uh, which I honestly think is a very smart Argentina jersey overall, because, um, yes, I love if the sleeves are striped, but the way this template is made actually looks, looks really, really nice and in many ways uh, classy. Now, uh, I also like the black collar and a little bit the black... Um, the black... Um, uh, striping. I also find it rather uh, intelligent that you have this black stripe here. That the blue here that goes all the way back is kind of hidden so you still re retain the feeling of the shirt being fully striped which uh, is not easily possible in many ways. This was my first jersey with that particular template with the arc on the back which was actually not a bad template uh, to be honest. The one thing I have to say is that the crest is a little bit weird. I think just the logo itself with the laurel wreath would be just fine. Why do you put it in this weird shape? I mean, it almost looks like it's leaning back a little bit like a Star Wars scroll. Um, and then this is rather straight. So um, And also it's not the Argentina flag back there, but you have the Argentina flag up here. So it's kind of, kind of weird. I mean, I do like the gold look of it. I mean, it's gold on gold. Usually AFA has a uh, blue color. So, I mean, that actually looks nice, but I find this shape, uh, that's maybe the one thing that I find a little bit odd. Uh, but other than that, it's a really, really beautiful jer uh, jer jersey. It has, it's also the first jer jersey where I had have one with a color gradient, which was the big thing uh, back in the early 2010s that it could get a color gray gradient. It should symbolize the ripple of an Argentinian flag. I'm not sure it really does. However, what I like is that um, here you see the gradient fully and then when you turn the jersey around, it actually continues on the bottom and it leaves enough space for the number. Now, um, maybe one teeny tiny bone of contention is I usually say I want to have only three colors at most on the jersey here we have four take the crest up but we have four we have the gold from from the crest because this side striping and I do like my side striping is golden and so is the arc and I slightly wonder but I think it would like look weird also if this was black but you know uh, this is maybe the one thing maybe it, uh, the gold is uh, potentially a touch too much. I, I'm always back and forth on that one. But other than that, I absolutely love it. I mean, the funny thing is, I think I got this in L. So at the moment, it's a bit tight. This was a time when I was much slimmer. Uh, and the most uh, interesting thing is, I mean, this about, um, I think in April of 2014, um, in Sofia, Bulgaria, where um, you know, um, I love to go there to all the mall and they had, the, of course, the Adidas store and they had the Nike store. And I do remember the Nike store. Uh, they had all the Nike kids there, but they were even, uh, in, they were the same prices in Bulgaria as they were in, um, in euros, so in Europe. So basically, I mean, the exchange rate is roughly times two. Uh, so basically, basically what the price in labor was, was twice time the price in euros. So, um, so that was not in the interest to me, but I go into the Adidas store and the leather price was the same number as the, uh, Euro, as the Euro price. So this means it was half price. 
ahead of the World World Cup in the Adidas store. And they had Germany there, they had Spain there. Of course, I was not going for Germany back then. And the Spain one, I was considering, to be honest. Um, but my wife said, this looks better. Although uh, I was... The question was asked, don't you have something like this already? I said, yes, but this is much thinner stripes and I actually do like this. It's a, it's a nice variant and it is. Of course, our Argentina went all the way to the final wearing this one. Uh, it featured in what I consider one of the best because it was so, so surprising jersey matchups, uh, a kit matchups uh, in recent World Cup history. Uh, namely the Argentina Netherlands semi-final where the Netherlands suddenly show up with white pants and Argentina with black shorts because the travesty was as beautiful as the shirt is when worn with white pants it just didn't look quite right but with black shorts it was a beauty to behold and as long as they were wearing this I mean they were riding the luck at some points uh, at points but um, they made it to the final and then in the final they played in that abomination of an away shirt oops Losing it one, <laughs> it didn't want to be featured in the abomination. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it uh, was very, very interesting. Uh, it was very interesting time. I, of course, want Argentina to win that World Cup, uh, especially once they made it to the final against Germany, which did not happen. I actually do like here, um, Asociación del Fútbol Argentino is written here on the back, which is a nice touch. Of course, I think there is not too much more to to do it. I mean, it's just the clamp, the clamp, clamp could take it rid of the shiny tags at that point. So yeah, my second ever Argentina jersey. Um, I think of all my Argentina Arch Arch as much as I like the 2008 one because it has nice features um, and probably fits me nicer in many ways. I have to say I like this one because it looks a little bit more um, traditional. Let's put it that way. So. That's why I think this would be my favorite uh, Argentina jersey that I own, home jersey that I own. Any case, uh, what do you think about this uh, jersey? Uh, any memories attached to that one? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!